What's up everyone, Simon Says Money here. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to discuss my opinion on if the market will go down very soon or not. We shall see, but I'll get into that. But first, we have to look at a very important update on GameStop AMC stocks. GameStop is at $323. They are up 67% up $131 after hours and today it was down 44.29% down $153 so the past month we can see it's up 1500% which is $300 it was at a mere $19.32 earlier this month and uh, another stock is AMC up 40.9% after hours at $12.16 Earlier this month, it was at $2.33. Now it's at a whopping $12. It was at $19.88. And we can also see a tweet by Elon Musk. What's a dog? So that stands for Dogecoin. And after he tweeted that, look, 160,000 people on 2.47 p.m. And now it's less than two hours. Dogecoin just went up this insane amount just because of this picture. All right, before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, as a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor or CPA. Please make your own investment decision. This is for education and entertainment purposes only and take responsibilities of your investment actions. I know a lot of people will not like my video today because what I am talking about here today might stop you or temporarily to continue to easily make tons of money. But it might be true and this video will make you think that I can prevent you from making more money, but if we are proactively preparing ourselves for a possible market correction, and more importantly, how to re-enter into the stock market timely and selectively. That will result us in not only minimizing the loss of the profits we have made or even our principal, but also making more profit if we re-enter into the stock market timely and correctly. I just want us to get rich together. In this role, there are two groups of people, or at least in terms of money management. There are two groups. The first one is the one that they want to get rich. They want to invest their money to make more money. I belong to this group and hopefully many of you belong to this group. The second group is the one that they want to keep their wealth. They usually deposit their money in their savings or checkings account, make some interest. Now, what's the interest rate? It is less than 1%, so it's better than nothing better than putting it into a checking account and not growing it, but it's much lower than the inflation rate. When people of the second group change their mind and behaviors and want to act like the same behaviors and action as people of the first group, the investors, it indicates that the market, no matter what market, such as the real estate in 2005 and 2006, and the tulip fever in Holland 200 years ago. Uh, we are talking about the stock. We are we are talking about the stock market might be or may be at its peak or its fever or end of its surge. A correction is about to come. I am sure that you don't like the statement, and it is not a statement. It is my concern. But it's better to prepare ourselves for the possible scenario. And when it comes or before it is come time, hopefully just one day before this correction starts to happen, we are prepared what we need to do, and also importantly, what should we do after the correction in an effort to continue to make more money. Now let's take a look at the current situation. We can see the US private sector financial asset, the percent of GDP, is more than six times the size of Main Street. The total asset or market cap of Wall Street listed companies is six times of GDP, which is insane, really, really high. In recent history, the 2000 internet bubble, we got a big crash. In 2008, the financial crisis, we got another big crash. Since then, it looks like we haven't had any major crash or say long major crash. We did have a few short term crash as we did last March due to the pandemic, but the market bounced back within two to three weeks, not like in 2000 or 2008. The crash lasted almost two years. And now in 2021, the surge has scared me. It really scared me a bit. And when I surf various websites, it seems that everyone is in the stock market and their 401k retirement account is doing great. I remember that Warren Buffett says something along the line, you should be scared when everyone is bold and you should be bold when everyone is scared. 
We also have a quote. Be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. Let's look at this chart. The Bank of America bull and bear indicator. According to Bank of America, we are now in the extreme bullish area as high as 7.2 out of 10, very close to the sell zone. And here shows Fed balance sheet. We can see World War I, the Great Depression, World War II, Great Financial Crisis, and COVID. During the 10 years, the Fed has opened its water tab continuously to the maximum. Now is almost three times as high as after the 2008's great financial crisis. The market has too much money. On the other hand, our country's deficit hits historical high. What would happen when Fed prints, or in fact just digitally prints, too much money and we borrow too much money from somewhere? Inflation. Inflation, inflation, inflation. This will lead to collapse of the bond market. Fed will have to tighten its policy, eventually increasing the interest rate, which will finally result in the big fluctuation of the stock market. Okay, those facts might be too theoretical, and we don't know when a correction or a collapse will happen. We just need to be very vigilant and cautious, and in case it happens, or in case it is to happen, we just need to run fast, swiftly, and completely, without any hesitation. Again, I might be too pessimistic, but I just want to protect my money and the return I have made from my money. Let's take a look at which stock will come earlier, faster, after the dip of a correction or collapse. For sure, the companies which are heavy in assets will come back first. Let's take a look at the crash of March 2020 as the example to see which one would bounce back more quickly and more violently. Here I compare the S&P 500, the QQQ, AAPL or Apple stocks, the ARKK or the ARK fund by Kathy Wood and TQQQ. We can see that the NASDAQ, the QQQ dropped more violently but came back faster and the ARK fund dropped but came back the second fastest. If we analyze the S&P 500 curve, its Williams percent is still healthy and no signs of going down yet. MACD is in the steady high ground. The candles are all the way above the 20 day moving average and the 50 day moving average. Therefore, it looks like that we are so far so safe, but as we all know, the market sometimes can change extremely quickly and it usually just needs a small trigger. What will be this trigger? We don't know. Let's just be cautious because I believe that the market is hot. Today's video was just a friendly reminder about the general market so we can be cautious and prepare ourselves for the worst. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that bell notification for more stock analysis video. Please leave a comment about your thoughts on the stock market right now. What's going on with the all the speculative stock like the GameStop, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, BlackBerry. What are your couple weeks stance looking like for the stock market? Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.